Um, let's just go to Romans 6. Verse 3, Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. So last week we talked about you know, the, the Spirit of God baptizing us into Jesus Christ it buries us with Jesus Christ into his death, that one day would, we would be raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Now, we, we aren't answering the question, who should be baptized? Now, why is it only believers? Well, if baptism with water represents what happens to you when you believe on Jesus Christ, why then would somebody who hasn't been baptized with the, the Holy Ghost, who hasn't been buried with Jesus Christ in his likeness, why would then they then be baptized with water when it hasn't happened to them. So that doesn't make sense at all. Um, why be baptized with water if you haven't even been baptized with the Holy Ghost? It would be like somebody putting on a wedding ring when, they ha when they're not even married. It, you sort of ask the question, well, what's, what's the point of wearing a ring? Yeah, you can put on a ring, but that doesn't mean you're married. Um, and if it's meant to symbolize that you are married, then it's not actually telling the truth. You're, you're being baptized with water when spiritually it hasn't actually happened to you. Acts 8, verse 37, we see here again, why should only believers be baptized? Well, faith is the only thing that hinders somebody from being baptized. We see here with Philip and the eunuch, and as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, see, here is water, what doth hinder me to be baptized? So he's saying, what's stopping me from being baptized? Well, if anybody could get baptized, then, then nothing's stopping him from getting baptized. But what does Peter, Philip say to the eunuch? And Philip said, if thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. 